This is going to be how to change out an airline. As you can see, that one's pinched pretty good right there. Never get you shut down. Pretty simple stuff. However, I have had a couple people say that they weren't sure how to do it. So I was going to make this video on how to change out this airline here. Because um, DOT will shut you down. But it's pretty simple. Um, the replacement, or the new one that we've got, didn't come with a glad hand already attached to it. So we'll have to go through that as well. But part of the stuff that you're going to need, you can use a wrench, but at the same time, I usually only use those to tighten them back in uh, to get them off. Use a pair of pliers or vice grips, whatever it is that you want to use. And then this one collar right up here, and you're going to want to remove that. You might have to run both of them down. We might get lucky, though run this down enough to where we can just get that side out. Once you've got that get out of the hanger, there's going to be two places you're going to have to disconnect it. One is going to be, this is the red one, just follow it in. It's going to be this one right here. Clean. Clean the threads, make sure there's nothing there. And check this one. Somebody's obviously been messing with it. And make sure the threads are clean. And then we're gonna tape it back on before we put it back on there. Once you've got it unhooked from there, you're just going to want to un unwind it. Even from where I cut it, that's where the kink was. You can see how deep it was down in there, especially it's been on the emergency line. All right, for the actual taking of the glad handle, it's pretty simple. You're just going to unscrew this and make sure that you tap on tape for that. An easy way to where you don't have to fight this or get all kinds of boxers, pliers, or anything moved in, you just hook it back up to the actual glad hand connector here. I mean, obviously if it's beat to death, you're not gonna use it anyway. But once it's locked into place there, you just grab here and untwist it. take this off and you remove the collar back it didn't have the actual fitting itself so instead of having to take it off and that one's already been taped plus it's brand new we're just going to remove this as well you 
gonna leave this other end cap too because I don't need water getting in there. Make sure that the threads are clear. Sure there's no metal shavings or anything for this just to get it started run it on there like that get it as snug as you can hand tight pick it back up all right once that's tight you're gonna go back through, run it through your hanger, and hook it back up down there at the, at the base that we took it from, and we should be good. Okay, one little thing I wanted to point out real fast now that I've got it all hooked back up. Whenever you take it off, make sure that you look at the spring placement on these things. Cause like an idiot, I put the one that's supposed to go on the glad hand down there to the actual connector. But you'll see how much longer that spring is <laughs> compared to this one, okay? So you definitely want to put that one down there for one, so it's easier to connect. And then two, it also isn't going to tighten the same way and rip this airline off the first time somebody tries to take off somewhere. Now obviously I know they look a little tight right now, but as uh, the truck runs and drives, it's gonna stretch it out. Obviously, you don't have to do this. It was just kind of informative. This is how I do it. But if for some reason you get caught in a situation and don't know how and want to get it knocked out faster, that's how it's done. 